he wrote this with a group of um, homeless guys um, that he, he sort of worked with in Scotland and women, actually. Guys in the multi-gender sense. Um, but yeah, so uh, Roy Bailey wrote this song in 2012 and then sadly passed away. But I found him a bit too late. But he's worth a listen if you're on Spotify or whatever. Listen to a guy called Roy Bailey. And this is a song that he wrote and I kind of, kind of like it for for our struggles as well. So this is a little song called um, Thought I Had No Voice. <laughs> We've had good times together We've shared a song or two Warmer days of summer Winter days of snow We know that life's not easy The road is hard and long Music I can cheer us Better for a song Thought I had no voice Now listen to my song The fellowship of music Place where I belong We raise our voice in song Every verse and chorus Many songs behind us now Many waiting for us Time is nearly over These days are long and hard The tunes we will remember And a forest song I hope the sun shines for you That we'll meet again But there has no end when Thought I had no voice Now listen to my song Fellowship of music Place where I belong Raise our voice in song Every verse and chorus Many Many waiting for me So, how was that? Now, I'm a bit loud here. So, now, loud on the guitar is quite quiet because that's what it sounds like here. Or does it sound in all right? Sound okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. This is, a bit, this is a bit of an experiment, is And not so technical. So, um, this song, um, I don't know, Richard, were you at the road for meeting last week? Reclaiming our futures. They had a big powwow. And uh, the powwow was all about. Sorry, say that again. Oh, no, that's all right. Uh, Joe, can you just turn my microphone down? Sorry, I'm just doing some. Twiddles, no, the uh, number one. Yeah, that's better. Uh, it's important because the whole um, debate is being riddled with debate around adult social care. And, of course, disabled people want independent living and a right to live the lives that we need. So there's a massive campaign about having not a, a national care service, which is what the government want, linked to health, but we want an independent living system that supports disabled people a bit like the ILF used to, but we're not allowed to say ILF anymore. Shh, keep that a secret. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, so make a little video saying why independent living is important to you and send it to Rofa. 
and uh, they'll put you up on Twitter. You only need to be like 30 seconds. Like, independent living is important to me because I live my life on a ski slope. Love, Sarah Henley. <laughs> anyway, this is a song that I played uh, ages ago. So... There's a window of hope in our dreams There's a promise of hope on the way There's a glory to come When the day will be won And we're caught in the winds of change If we don't come together where we stand there's a price we will have to pay If you stand on your own You'll be lost and alone Swept away on the wind of change Raise your hand, raise your hand To the blue sky A chance to come away Just open your wings Lift your voices and sing Swept away on the wind of change Raise your hand, raise your hand To the blue sky Forever hold them high Make a stand Got really red. Raise your hand, raise your hand to the blue sky. Forever will live high. Make a stand, make a stand together. And the winds of change will come. Yes, the winds of change. few songs to up and up a bit give us a bit of a in our craftism lots of love and thanks for letting me sit i'm gonna turn my guitar off and put my headphones on and swap things around a bit while i listen to uncle rich thank you for having me sing a few little that was amazing oh, john well done john thank you john thank that was great you. thank you we all clap at the same time clap for john yes <laughs> well done. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> and I've got no tomatoes thrown at me. <laughs> I can come and throw one over the fence. <laughs> Sarah, throw one for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so next up is Richard. How are you feeling following that? <laughs> oh, this is. <laughs> The second time of hello, John. <laughs> oh, so don't get competitive about it. That means you but do. I feel fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, over to me. Okay, over to you. I don't like these people who play rock and roll. Hold on, let me pin you. Um, oh, don't rehearse. One moment, Richard. Let me pin you to. <laughs> pin you. <laughs> Can you so everyone has to watch you? Yeah. One moment. Poems in there. Right, and finally my poems for revolution, my red book. Right, and I'm just gonna open it at any page. The, 
This first one is called Rare Feeling, and it's about my joy and happiness of being alive. R rare Feeling. I'm born number four, creative destroyer, Graham Carcrass Lovey. What does that mean? I know this flow. What I don't know, I'll take it slow. And just before I go, I'll spread play about this place with my silk, with my grace, and I'll stop to lace this golden boot, which is no disgrace for you to bow, bow to. For I am great, a rare teammate, to love, not hate, to have around, to take back home, free, not bound, by tackless tile, upon this tile, playing out a loving mortal Kyle. There you go, was that revolutionary enough? My purple book, opening it there. Oh, a disability equality one. This is called the religious model in me. And towards the end, it includes an acrostic which spells out tragic but brave, which people like John Kelly might know. So... I'm tragic and brave. Yeah, excellent. And brave, you say. I thought it was but brave. I got it wrong. <laughs> right, so the kind of religious model posits disabled people as evil or kind of blessed. Sometimes I feel both of those things. I am born in God, impaired, in the arms of a God-given family. I am blessed, I will be cherished, loved, looked after, surrounded by goodness. I am good, I perform, it is said, miracles. I run, I kick. Sometimes I breathe, I am wise, angelic, cherubic, blonde, blue-eyed. God is within me, God is good. Or, torn from his the bosom released into convalescence, a national rehabilitation program given over to doubt in darkness, a devil's runes, cast aside, pushed aside, made outside, beaten, castigated, despised, utterly worthless, twisted, malicious, mad, brutal, browbeaten, rising on new wings, anarchistically rejecting vacuous religion, ego reborn, without God, without Satan, without good, without evil, finally true to myself. <clears throat> I, I know from my golden book, what can be in here? I've turned it to a page called Martin, and I've recently read Martin, so I don't want to do that again. But I'll read a political one. It's called, I want to be like Paul Crowther. But I'm sure all of you remember Paul Crowther. Uh, kind of last year, he took his strawberry milkshake over a certain celebrity. But it's a certain celebrity. But so I want to be like Paul Crowther. I'm stuck in this space in my large garage with case after case of stuff of garage. Strawberry milkshakes, eggs and tomato, waste not treats like cakes, maybe avocado. What I aim to do, and you'll like some of this, is throw in my poo and drench them in piss. I'm living my dream, I'm living it large, I'm throwing my shit at Nigel Farage. <coughs> Poetry. And now my black book. Thank you, Pippa. <coughs> right. 
This one's a work poem. It's called Dreams and Wishes. Uh, but I put on an exhibition last term kind of year, which included my poetry and imageries. Right, and on and on sort of and on to the actual last kind of day, I told us refused the opportunity to finish a piece of work. That's what phone you can hear. Hello. Right, and I was really angry. So um, right, I wrote a poem called Dreams and Wishes. At the last moment, the zone appears in all its glory with integrity compromised by the same old song of revenge taken in the name of insignificant patronage. Interference interfering with memories of words softened and manipulated to distract from the heaviness of instruction from administrators looking to nanny me. Compromising dreams and wishes destroyed in the face of a clock ticking, friendship appears. It offers the solace of realistic support, anger rising and dissipating slow like sunset. Yet a savage wind keeps howling outside when best to stay warm inside, away from warfare, through old mud trenches that keep appearing, drawing towards waters reflecting barren land. An absence of birdsong always worrying within a workshop where the sound of nails bang poison into the barks of tall trees. Blue tits run from envisaged and envisioned woodcutters, leaving nothing but leftovers scrambled for in a warlike situation which is never won or lost by winners winning or losers losing on a battlefield that had no reason to be. But is anybody awake after that? But nobody looks awake. <laughs> Thank you. Want some more? Come say hello to Martin. Ask him about the weather. Ask him about time. Martin never answers. He just stands there ch 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 jabbing. If bang, how hell he jabbing his arms, South Pole style. You just know later he will be headbutting cars. Martin screwed down tight, greasy air patted to his skin, top, top button closed. He never wears t-shirts, he never wears shorts. He's not going to tell you how hot it is. Martin, he smells of Martin. Stand beside big fat Martin, feel his pockets, felt his chips, crush his crisp. Every cavity full, satchel, sports bag, bedside cabinet, sweets and savouries. Feel him grab your cuff sometimes. Feel him holding on. Wanting to know this world still spins round, or at best it might have stopped. His dog ripped his shirt once. I saw his blue, black, yellow, red and purple flabby biceps where he used to hit himself. But he covered up quick, there's nothing that we need to know, and you'll never hear him say, it's a good day, or at the third B, it will be 13, 43, and 27, Christmas B, B. Shall I carry on? Stop. Have you got a blue book? No, I've not got a blue book. That's too Tory slim. It <laughs> <coughs> is visible, accords the sign on a toilet door, seeking as it does greater understanding than this poet pedant here can give. Disability, get this. 
disability, not just a word, disability renderlent with meaning, and this meaning you should have heard. Disability is discrimination, discrimination based on impairment, discrimination in attitude, organizations, discrimination in the environment. Discrimination, it can be, can be visible. We see it everywhere in a step, in a shelf, in a call phone answering service. But we take it as a sign as it is and acknowledge discrimination can be invisible too, behind a whispering hand, behind walls which we're never allowed to walk through behind someone's mind that closes down, behind a smirk of ignorance, behind the wit of clowns. There we watch it take form again in posters for books for cinema, in the appointment of charity CEOs, in places we are always absent, absent and spoken for, absent and talked about, absent given an emotive spin, absent, shunned, left out. Not every impairment is visible. Not every act of disability, every act of disability, return to definition to understand. Disability is, de is discrimination. Discrimination based on impairment. Discrimination in attitude in organizations. Discrimination in the environment. Understand. The word disability means discrimination. An article. Hello. That's very true. That was really good. Thank you. Well done. Yes. Thank you. Well, let me unmute everyone. Yeah. Richard. Richard, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, so I haven't met you before. I've only read yeah. um, some stuff that Charlotte has showed me in the past. And this is the first time I've heard your voice and more of your, obviously more of your creativity. And I just, I really applaud you. They're wonderful. Your, your, your work is wonderful. It really is. Um, and I'm, well, I don't know if this makes a difference or not. I'm, I was an English teacher, state secondary school English teacher for a long time. I have a deep love of all types of literature. And um, thank you. Thank you for writing and thank you for sharing. It's amazing. <laughs>